In this GIMP Beginner's Guide, I'll show you how to turn an ordinary photo into a framed silhouette. So first, open the photo. Now right click on it in the Layers panel and come down and left click on Add Alpha Channel. And now I'm going to select the outline of the girl but I want to select her head and shoulders in greater detail, so I click on the Zoom tool in the toolbox and drag out a rectangle over her head and shoulders to zoom them up. Then I click on the Free Select tool in the toolbox and come down and click on Feather Edges. And I'll reduce the radius to 5. And now starting at one shoulder, I'll click around her and select her. And now that I've done her head and shoulders, I'll reduce the zoom again. And I'm going to go straight down from her shoulder and click at about her waist height. Then go across and click again and back up to the other shoulder. And then complete the selection. And then, so that it's the background selected and not the girl, I click on Select and Invert. And then press the Delete key on my keyboard to delete the background. Now I click on Select and None to deselect her and stop the marching ants. Now I'm going to zoom up on her head again. And I want to make these two areas here between her head and her ponytail transparent as well. So I click on the free select tool again and I select those two areas and press the delete key on my keyboard to delete them. And now I'll zoom her back down again. And now I need to bucket fill her black. And to do that, I go back to the Layers panel and I right click on her again and come down and left click on Alpha to Selection. And you'll see that that has restarted the marching ants and she's selected again. I go to my toolbox and click on the Bucket Fill tool. I check that the foreground colour is black. I come down and check that it's going to fill it with the foreground colour. And then I come down and click on Fill Hole Selection. And then I simply click inside the girl and Bucket Fill her. Then I click on Select and None. And now I need to make the frame. So, at the bottom of the Layers panel, I click on the Create a New Layer button. And in the Layer dialog box, I'm going to rename this layer Frame. I check that it's going to be a transparency, 
and then click OK. Then I click on the Ellipse Select tool in the toolbox and drag out an ellipse over here. Then I click on Select in the menu bar and come down and click on Invert. Then I click on the Bucket Fill tool again and I click on that layer outside of the oval and Bucket Fill it. And then I deselect it. And now the last thing I need to do is give it a background. So I come down to the Create a New Layer button again and click on it. And I rename this layer Background. And this time I want it white. So I click on white and then click OK. Then I go to filters in the menu bar and click on it. I slide my cursor down to render. I go across to clouds and across and click on difference clouds. And in the dialog box, I'm going to change the X size to 2 and the Y size to 10. And click OK. Now I go back to my Layers panel and as you can see, that layer is on the top and I want it on the bottom. So I go to the bottom of my Layers panel and I click on the Lower This Layer One Step button twice. Now I hope that made sense. But if you've got any problems or suggestions, please leave a comment.